You know, time and time again, whenever I think of this, it always makes me happy. I am forever grateful before the Lord because it's hard, it's, there is one of nothing can hurt you as much as when you are taken advantage of. When you act good, but they eventually take advantage of your kindness, your goodness. You treat somebody so good, at the end, they still leave you. They don't even, they act like they don't get it. Oh my God, how can I put this? It hurts. You look at all the sacrifices, but somebody spit in your face. That's why we even have these terms that you're being spat on the face. It's because of people who notice how they did well and somebody start looking at them and betray them like that. And the person doesn't act like they don't even care. I assure you, there are still such individuals alive today. So listen to this very well. One thing that I've learned was that all of them, let me use the word all of them this time around. I won't use the word almost. Allow me to use all. Eventually, their guilt, their guilt eats them up. Judas Iscariot's guilt ate him up to an extent where he could not feel like living his worth and he killed himself. Jesus did not do anything. Let me tell you, whomever you treat well, life has a way of reminding them. The next moment they are mistreated, they remember where they used to be treated like a king or a queen. And the Lord says, well done. Your good works, your good deeds, your good actions, your kind, what you have done resulted in them feeling guilty and no longer having peace. So it was not in vain. Yes, at times you might feel like, oh, maybe it's not working. This person, ah, oh, give it time. And allow me to tell you that some people you might not end up knowing, but you find that they're just scared to come back to you. They think, I've had people who also come back to me and say, yo, I was scared to text you because I felt like maybe you will still be angry at me for what I did. They're like, oh, no. Sometimes people won't reach out, not because they don't want to, but they're scared of the rejection that they're going to receive. And I pray for you. May God help you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And see you next time.